uh, hello uh, I have made this uh, kind of project library uh, for you to create all kind of freeform SL sculptures. Uh, this is for Cinema 4D 10.5 but I hope you can use it on later as well uh, but this is not yet tested on later versions uh, I mean on release 12 yet because it has a different real world coordinate system under the hood so it's very much different okay but uh, this uh, has some basic forms like mushrooms, hats, eggs, shells, waves, uh, lens kind of forms and I will zoom a little bit okay uh, a little bit more uh, difficult <laughs> to make in Second Life forms this is mm, maybe more like a uh, bar thing, <laughs> bowl or something. Okay, so I will close this now. Uh, so what we have here is a, a sculpt map shader made with Cinema 4D, and uh, here are uh, different types of presets uh, for example uh, by the way this is a, a sculpting space that is used uh, and you cannot really put the model outside of this box otherwise it's not very good <laughs> and it's uh, causing problems when exporting okay but anyway uh, I made this for example this hat with the uh, just basic tools with the uh, lat nerves and uh, FFD modifier you can uh, see the basic form how it's made so I will only have this uh, just lat form but with the uh, FFD you can model it very much on the, the shape you want so uh, if I show this how it's kind of complex but uh, there are a couple of point selections uh, uh, from the side that you can use to change the this form uh, it's uh, difficult to see uh, when you have this on you can just uh, put it unvisible and you can uh, easily change the top part of the hat as well now if I just uh, select these lines I mean points and then just scale a bit in on the x-axis okay I will show you how to uh, export I mean how to bake this uh, as a school map so um, I have set it as a format into Targa it's very good because it's not compressed like JPG uh, and uh, the size is quite small 64 by 64 and uh, it's on the luminance channel but it works also on the color but it doesn't matter now so you can click on pre preview and then just uh, 
to see it works then just uh, click on that tab to save as hat sculpt map then just bake I have a previously saved it so it asks now to overwrite ok now you have baked the sculpt map uh, it shows uh, ok on that uh, ok now we are ready to uh, import that into second life as a sculpt map so next uh, you need to do is open your second life client okay uh, now I'm in second life uh, and this place is uh, sandbox island uh, if you don't have any land it's uh, good to have uh, this place for testing out uh, different things all right uh, then just right click and click on build then just uh, left click okay now you can just change the object type into sculpted okay now we have this open so then just click on build menu then upload image it costs you 10 linens then just select hat sculpt map okay now just open and drag this on the side uh, and you can change this preview image as a sculpted frame okay now you can uh, see that it's uh, okay but here is something never mind that you can rotate uh, this uh, model by pressing control key on your keyboard and with left mouse button okay now just upload okay now we wait a bit okay now it's working okay just put a hat on description but uh, here's a cool trick I can show you can just drag this onto the scalp texture so okay now just zoom in to see the see the hat okay now we have this teaching type it's fear but uh, you can change it uh, for example into torus so it's <coughs> uh, making it proper <coughs> 360 degrees and uh, now you can also change the texture uh, for example uh, here are some default textures maybe fabric and denim okay yeah you can close this but if you want you can use the uh, repeats in the tool all right there you have your <laughs> hat in second life <coughs> with denim texture uh, actually I have a, a bit similar with my avatar but the texture is made in cinema 40 oh it's not <laughs> on the place Uh, but you can change the hat size also in second life to match your avatar size okay I think uh, it's okay for you to try now 
I hope uh, this has been useful. Thanks. Bye-bye.